Dining with the Daily. Yeah. yeah. If you're tired of starting your day the same old way, Carson and Siri are here to help you with something special. I don't know what that means, guys. Good to see you. <laughs> this is out of necessity because we were just saying we don't have, we love breakfast burritos. It's sacred mm -hmm. territory. And when we moved to Long Island from California, something we are we, missing. We left great breakfast burritos in California. We have lots of good bagels. So we had to learn how to make them. Yeah. Right. And by the way, you're not just making burritos. We've got the same, you're doing burritos and tacos. And tacos. Yeah. So we're starting with we're the burritos. We're going to start with the burritos. So over here we have some two different kinds of cheese, um, chorizo, hash browns, and our eggs and milk. Okay. So here's the chorizo love over here. Exactly, right? Yeah. So here's the chorizo cooking. You take it out of the casing, crumble it up with a wooden spoon, cook it for about, you know, 10 minutes or so until it gets nice and crispy. And then and my you, drink, you could do some turkey. You could do yeah. turkey. You can do what any we're number gonna of do, protein. Exactly. We're going to use the we go same with the fatty can stuff. because you're going to have some of those the yummy stuff. flavors from the chorizo. And we're going to add our hash browns. And what's the trick with the hash browns? Is well, not to think that that is cheese and pick up a hand. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> in the you just ate some. I was like, that's not Yeah, cheese. I thought it was mozzarella. <laughs> potatoes. Yeah. But the, the potato thing, the potato in a, in a in some, I don't like big clumps of potato in my no. breakfast burrito. Right. But a hash brown, crunchy, and you is great crunchy. texture So we're going to let that sit for a long time, get nice and crispy. Um, you know, like about 10 minutes again. And then... To the same pan. We're going to use a clean one right now, but I use it. I take that out, put it in the same pan. Because you like those pan. flavors. Exactly. We're going to take our eggs. This is 12 eggs and about a half cup of milk. Oh so we'll whisk that up. And oh, then come on. Give it we'll the whisk. Okay. I'm afraid of, um, you know, ever since I sprayed soup on you. <laughs> Funny, I didn't remember that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Wow, those are resistant yolks. By the way, we do I a, know what's happening. We do a lot of uh, breakfast for dinner at our house. There so this is a great, like, oh, we have best. people over and do yeah. breakfast for dinner. And you could do steak inside there to make it a little more robust. So we'll scramble that, and then we're going to, to this, we're going to add the Monterey Jack cheese. And then to our actual burritos, which Carson is assembling, we'll have some cheddar cheese. Yeah, the key mm -hmm. here is with the flour tortilla, we warmed it up first just to give it a little bit of a cook. Yep. And then and we're just the going to go ahead and build it. We'll put some of the potatoes That's in. That's a huge better. burrito. Oh, I know. Well, well, that. I yeah. don't know. Okay, there we go. And then the other trick we like to do is after we fold it, which Carson's going to have a hard yep. time no, with. That's all right. Um, we're going to put it on a hot pan with we a little bit of oil. Put it back in there because yes. you've got to get some crisp on the outside. Why, that's the key. Mm, that's fantastic. This is the key. So right. this will crisp up. And I want to make like sure this. we have time for okay. tacos. Yep. So okay. back here, these are veggie egg tacos. So I'm going to saute some onions. Careful, that's going to sizzle. Yeah, that's right, really ready. hot. And you could use any veggie you have on hand. Mushroom, spinach would be great in this. And so we're going to let that like caramelize about 10 to 15 minutes, season it up. Don't look at me. This is your recipe. I, I'm all about come that on, chorizo come burrito. Come on. Where's your beer, this by the way? This is the healthy. <laughs> yeah, I do have a beer. Um, scrambled eggs, same way as we did it up there. Mm -hmm. And then to these, I like to add vegetarian um, refried beans that you just warm up in a little saucepan. Um, queso fresco. Should we, should we make some, Matt? Yeah. Here we go. Do you at your house when it comes to breakfast, is it kind of like Al's rolling spring break? Kitchen opens, kids come in at different times, or do you pick a set time and you have no. to be there or you, you don't get breakfast? Uh, it depends. The breakfast like this is fun just to kind of keep going, and as kids come in, they can build a breakfast burrito or a taco. What I like to do is make bacon, and that wakes everybody up. The smell going exactly. through the house. Right. But no, I don't feel like we sit and have a proper breakfast. We, we mainly do that for dinner. I like on a Saturday after a little busy Friday night, you can wake up a little bit later and do this. It's almost brunch, which is why I'm pairing it with a Corona. Wow. A nice Mexican beer with the breakfast burrito. Your kids let you sleep late? Not Well, that means like 8 a.m. Does that go in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a okay. refried bean option and a little protein. Okay. How, like, how like is this, guys? It's yeah, great. be honest. It's really, really good. I it's will really say perfect. What you did Sorry. to that tortilla is everything. Because nice. that little brown is really good. It's, it's the difference between a really good breakfast burrito and one that's just not as good. Brown. A hash brown. Yes. We were also, tater tots are good, and you can crunch them up and smush them and put yeah. them in there. We were talking before. You guys had uh, almost like Pavlov's dog. When I have this kind of, I need sour cream on top. Yeah, sour cream. I need cream a would dollop of sour cream. I, like I was that missing move. a little salsa. That's the only thing I, I like to add. And I like hot sauce. There's hot sauce. Yes, we have avocado, cilantro. You can really top it with anything. Well, guys, so this has been another installment nice of Dining with the Daily. And go to today.com slash food for the recipes. They're back next week to share their favorite pairings. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.